Hello my friends, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. I am excited to change gears today and actually paint something non-nature related. We're painting Valentine's Day cards, so this is going to be the probably the first one of the of the bunch and it's very simple because this is my fourth tutorial today. And I wanted to change it up, do something simple but very cute. So, you're going to grab your pencil. Everyone always asks what this is. It's just a pencil. Like, it's, it's a black pencil. It's a pencil, but the exterior is black. And it has a crown on it because I bought it in Liechtenstein, which is a tiny country in Europe. Um, it's just a pencil, guys. So I'm using my pencil to... Uh, we're going to paint a balloon, but the string of the balloon is going to spell love. So uh, it might be easier to actually tilt your piece of paper into landscape position. Um, we're spelling the word love using um, the string of the balloon. So that's a little bit better. Okay, so we spelled love and then our balloon is going to be, well, mine is going to be heart-shaped, but you can make yours whatever shape you desire. So it's going to look something like this. It's going to have that little spouty thing. So something like this. So super, super duper simple. Um, I kind of wish I made the string a little bit longer, but this is why we pencil it in first so that we are happy. with uh with it so once you are happy with it you gotta erase it just so that it's uh it's dark enough for you to see but light enough so that it doesn't show through our watercolor um or you can just freehand it and hope for the best that works too Okay, so you can probably barely see that, but I can see it well enough. So honestly, you don't have to do this in watercolor, but this is a watercolor channel, so I'm going to try and stick to that theme. Um, but yeah, you, you are welcome to just grab a marker or uh, whatever you would like to paint this. I'm grabbing red and I'm mixing it with magenta to kind of give me a unique <laughs> blend of colors. I'm starting with the heart just because I don't want to smudge anything. So I'm painting my heart. Just a solid color. We'll be adding details after. Right now I just want to get it down. Like so. And I'm just going to go around it again like this. And then I'm still not done. So I'm going to take a little bit of black and make this kind of more intense color. Grab some toilet paper because I forgot my paper towel. I'm taking my size uh, double zero brush for this step. And I'm outlining it in that darker um, color that I just mixed up. 
together, mixed together, sorry. And I don't know if you can quite see that on the camera, but it does have this nice darker outline um, that gives it a, like a little bit more of a 3D look. And you can certainly lift off some color as well uh, to help give you that 3D look so that there's, you know, some reflective features on your balloon. So I've kind of done that here and here on either side. And I am going to be adding some with white acrylic paint later on. <clears throat> but I'm going to let this dry. Oh, I really hope I'm not coming down with a cold. Because my throat feels weird. Um, okay, you could take red for this part. But I think I'm going to just use black because it will be a nice contrast. Um, and we're going to attempt this string. So I'm going to switch to my quadruple zero. And let's see how we do. Ugh, I'm kind of tempted to just use a marker. But a marker, at least the ones that I have, could not get this fine. Okay, that didn't turn out too bad. What I forgot to do is that little button on the balloon so I'm going to just quickly do that with the same color that I bordered the balloon with like so that's a really cute little card there I wish I had made this a bit darker and then you can write happy valentine's day or whatever you want on this side. This is just meant to be a very simple Valentine's Day card, nothing elaborate. Um, and I'm gonna probably add that with Photoshop. Although I am really tempted to add something, just a little something extra, like a extra heart or maybe even a second balloon. Oh, you know what would be cool? If you wrote, you had three balloons and each one, like the first one had I and then love and then you written in the string. I'm actually kind of tempted to do that now. Should we do that? Yes, I am thinking yes. Let's just do that. <laughs> Quick change of plans here. So taking my magenta and my red again. And uh, I'm freehanding this, which might be a mistake. Because this is supposed to be a smaller balloon, but it's looking a little bit almost the same size. Okay, I should have made it much smaller, but that's what you get for not freehanding, or for doing what I just did. So I'm doing the same thing where I'm taking darker, a little bit of black mixed in there and just outlining the heart. like 
like so. I'm gonna just quickly add the little um, part that you blow air into for my balloon. And I'm gonna also, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the first balloon and just pick up a tiny bit of that pigment just to add some reflective features on the balloon there. And, uh, oh, I also forgot to add that white detail on that balloon. So I still need to do that. So, um, I'm just writing you. Not bad. I like how that turned out. So I'm actually just gonna erase the pencil afterwards. Gives me an easier guide, I think. I'm picking up my black watercolor and then very carefully painting on my string. So the thing is, I don't have a balloon that says I, but love you works too. I'm not going to be picky about that. What I am picky about is that this is doing the cauliflower thing. So I'm trying to kind of fix that. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my white uh, acrylic paint actually for this last part and I'm just gonna add a little like a uh, reflective detail. So it'll just run along the left side of the balloon. Almost like a little exclamation point to make it cartoony looking. I need to do the same thing on the second heart, but it's not dry yet. So I'm going to do, you get, you saw me do it on the first one. I'm going to wait until this dries and, and add it on this, but you don't need to see that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.